morning, everyone. This is uh, Gregor Tarjan from Aeroyat. I'm, um, I'm here today in La Rochelle on a cold but sunny day. Here we are greeting the hull number 14 of the Nordetech 44 open. Yeah, and also notice the very high bridge deck clearance. You know, very few people actually talk about bridge deck clearance anymore. Uh, we are only talking about how many rooms these boats have and and uh, how fast they are. Uh, it's bridge deck clearance that really is a very important number. It's the it's the it's the it's the distance between the bottom of this bridge deck and the waterline. The higher it is, the better. The less slamming you get on a hull, and that's a huge compromise that a lot of of these uh, production cruising boats have is they have they're trying to maximize the living volume uh, even from the hulls that come into this bridge deck area and of course that compromises that that distance and of course you get a lot of slamming structural damage and it's very uncomfortable to sail so for people who know me i'm a big big fan and stickler for high bridge deck clearance which this nordic 44 has And I'm going to do a little video walkthrough explaining some of the features, the highlights of the boat, some of the options that you can get. It's a very good looking boat. Not that the older ones were less good looking, but uh, this is a sp especially racy with the reverse bows. With the, with the knuckles out of the water, you can see here. This particular boat has a copper bottom paint. It's an expensive option, but saves you maybe two or three times the, um, the anti-fouling, the conventional anti-fouling. <clears throat> this boat has a twin spreader rig, double shrouds, very safe, very safely stayed, very simple but strong rig. This particular boat has the radar option, also has a camera, a forward-facing camera, and a self-tacking jib, which is super practical for, for solo and single-handing. Big hull windows with opening ports. Here the typical chine. We have two chines, one upper and one lower chine, which which is great for the volume, but also for the performance. It keeps the waterline narrow, but increases the interior volume. Here we get a great look from the back. Yeah, no boat name yet. It's hull number 14. A trademark of these boats are the, the twin helm stations that you see here, port and starboard. They both have bimini, so you have protection. Uh, great for docking, great for single-handed mooring pickup because you basically can reverse to a mooring, pick, you know, just step down two steps, pick up a line and uh, lead it around a bow roller, a bow cleat or, or a block and back to the winch and you, you're basically hooked up. It's super, super convenient. You have mechanical steering, which gives you full feedback uh, of what's happening to the boat and the pressure on the helm. So there are uh, a lot of advantages to these twin steering stations. You have a great view onto the sails from here. So it's, 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 uh, you have an option of uh, having another chart plotter here, another in engine instrument control, uh, this is the port side station, so the, this client opted for a simple, just an autopilot control, a repeater, and a compass. Let's start here. This, this winch controls the topping lift, the, um, the second reef right here, and the Janneker halyard. That's a manual winch, you can also get it in electric. That's the access to the engine. That's the, f a lot of people ask me what this is. This is actually the hole where you put the fire extinguisher in to uh, extinguish any burning fire. Manual bilge pump. Here we have 
The heart of the boat is basically this cockpit saloon interface. Here we store the Jenniker. Lockers everywhere. There's a locker here, big locker here, life raft uh, access, actually uh, two access uh, uh, possibilities, one from the top, one from the bottom. It actually drops out the bottom if need be. You can fully enclose this with a door. Uh, in fact, on my old uh, Nautitech 46 that I had, and on the 40, we had air condition, and we could air condition this entire area, or heat it, of course. And here you get a nice view of the, um, of the expansive salon. Great galley layout. Here we're still missing the freezer, twin refrigerators, super forward-facing nav station with a great sail sense uh, control panel that's integrated into the B&G and uh, a nice lounge with a small table that still has to be added here. Yeah, beautiful finish, hidden lights, strip lights, very nice design, very modern. The quality of this boat has improved tremendously. Not that the older ones were shabby, but you know the attention to details, you know, for instance, this teak grating for the um, for the companionway drain is is definitely an upgrade. Also, the woodwork you have options of two two wood choices here, but I I really like this walnut. Yeah, let's head over to the um, starboard helm. Starboard helm, you have all the controls, your engine controls right here. Two Volvo 50 horsepower uh, diesels, sail drives, great view onto the sails. Here you have your anchor windlass control. This is a great system. This is your sail sense system, uh, your chart plotter. Uh, radar, everything is interfaced. You can even have a camera uh, set up uh, so you can see the front of the boat. Very handy, especially when you are parking the boat from the starboard station, you know exactly what's going on in, in front of you. It's brilliant, brilliant stuff. And it's not such an expensive option. Autopilot, repeater, you can have various screens here, wind, uh, depth, speed. Yeah, mechanical control, a beautiful sort of a carbon look wheel. Nice teak steps. Here you have your electric winch that comes with the uh, upgraded premium pack. Uh, here we have the, um, what do we have here? This is the sheet for the self-tacking jib. This is your halyard for the mainsail. This is your uh, first reef and your third reef. Everything comes back here to this electric winch. The mainsail is controlled via your main sheet right here, the blue one, and then the traveler sheets, port and starboard, you can see right here, they go right to the main right here at the end. Nicely, nicely tied with a single block. Here you have uh, 400 watt uh, solar panels. And uh, of course, the dinghy lift system, very practical with the um, with the um, jammers that lead from this block to the winch, and of course from that block also back to this winch. But usually the engine is on on the heavy side on, on this side here, so you can use the winch for the heavy side, and one other person or you can go back and forth and and lift the uh, the light bow of the dinghy. Anyhow, back in the cockpit, there's a great option for a beautiful teak uh, table. You can have full teak uh, flooring, either in flexi teak or which is synthetic, or the real stuff. Talking about flooring, this is a composite flooring, literally indestructible. Yeah, let's start with the um, my favorite part is the forward-facing nav station. So here. We are sitting at the nav station, very comfortable, with a super, super view forward, opening window, nice little nav light. I'm doing a little 360 here. 
That's a locker under here. Lockers here. These doors, of course, slide completely shut in two sections. So you can have the middle section up to here and just have this entrance opening. Nice strip lighting that continues from the salon into the cockpit, which sort of adds to this design. Yeah, it's a very elegant boat. I think they really did a great job in the design department. Um, even with this, even with this bar, uh, we call it the bar. You can add a flat screen TV that comes up. So great for viewing from the cockpit, as well as this L-shaped lounge and sitting area. So a super place to navigate and um, hold watches. These are the steps, teak steps that go up to the to the um, uh, roof of the boat. Here you have your your B and G control. This is the sail sense system. So you have your charts, your side scans, your depth, your radar, uh, various little apps, your video app that we we showed you before, your stereo. Uh, these are the sail sense hard buttons. These are the quick buttons. Uh, to get to the various pumps, bilge pumps, navigation lights, uh, steaming light, deck light. This is, for, this is for your salt water pump, which is at the galley, uh, your fresh water. These are for the electronics and these are for the lights for the whole boat. Here we can see again the repeater of the video. Um, chart, of course you have a full chart. People familiar with the with the system, of course, no BNG. It's a great great system here. You can overlay the autopilot and steer the boat from the inside. Uh, you can overlay radar, of course, and this is the heart of the sail sense system. You have all your battery status of the service batteries, both of the engine batteries, um, your main quick soft keys for the lights, navigation lights, engine light, anchor light, and deck light. I mean, this is not that engine light, it's the steaming light. Here is your black water tank level. This is the um, the fresh water level and the fuel level in percentages. And you have, of course, various screens here. We're not gonna spend too much time here, but these are all the lights. These are the um, pumps. And this is a panel for alarms, uh, as well as main, uh, main systems, like the hi-fi system, the electronics, the fridge in the salon, the inverter, which of course you have a, a, a an inverter panel here as well. This is your three kilowatt um, Victron inverter. Um, here are your main battery shutoffs for the house batteries and one each for the engine batteries. Your USB ports with the outlets that work through this inverter. Yeah, and this is your uh, VHF. So this is a very clean, nice area. Here you can have a nice uh, laptop uh, storage. You can work from, from the boat, which is of course the, uh, the, a dream for any, any uh, nomad. Okay, so let's um, continue. Lockers here. This is a great part. This is a, this is a garbage, huge garbage compartment. I've actually rarely seen one that big and deep on a boat. Very easy to clean. You just, uh, if you have a cutting board here, you just cut your tomatoes and, and shove the rest in here. Twin sinks, fresh water, salt water, more storage here. Deep, very, very deep storage. This is a uh, storage here, or maybe a place for a microwave. You have a three hub gas oven. Uh, this is actually an electric, um, an Italian Airlux electric uh, 220 uh, oven that works from a separate inverter. Here you have your twin uh, Nitro Frigo refrigerators. The compressor is here, housed on the bottom right here easy to access here. We are still missing the, the freezer. It's coming tomorrow, I hope. More little shelves and storage. And here's also a couple of cubby holes. Two opening windows, port and starboard. Great for ventilation. You also have one here. Of 
course, all the windows have the optional sunscreens and the mosquito and the mosquito screens right here. Great system. Great view onto the sails. Note the little anti-slip strip. We have twin overhead hatches, of course. Yeah, very elegant, very elegant salon. Works really well. Yeah, and plenty of storage here. We're not gonna go through every drawer, but here we have uh, big drawers and storage compartments. Um, access to, to various pots and pans. Easy access to the plumbing right here. Let's see the access to the plumbing. Okay, let's go down into the um, into the port hull. This is an owner's version though for the.